Hey guys, welcome back to By Her Mirror. I hope everyone is doing really, really well. Um, I am just doing a chatty update video today because I thought as there were gonna be a few changes and there already have been a few changes, I'd better just put them out in one handy video and then hopefully everything will be a bit clearer um, from now on. I haven't actually filmed a video, as in me sat down talking to a camera in about four months. So if I seem a bit awkward, I'm really sorry, but that's why. Um, but yeah, let's go on with it. So the first thing is probably the most obvious visually. I have blonde hair or blonde-ish hair. Um, I love being redhead and I'm sure I'll be redhead again at some point but my hair was really really damaged and I just wasn't loving it anymore so I thought I'd go back to my natural colour. Um, hopefully I'll be travelling at some point this year and I thought if I have red hair I'm not going to want to have massive roots going on that would not be cool um so yes that's the first thing blonde hair the second thing is something that i think i've written a post about i'm not sure if the post will be before or after this video but i am planning on going cruelty free for my makeup um which has actually been a bit of a headache so far but i think it's just one of those things that as i get used to it and as I find more brands, do more research, it'll get a whole lot easier. Um, yeah, going cruelty free was something that I hadn't really thought about before um, and had no like fixed opinions. I think if you'd asked me, I would have said, oh, I think animal testing is okay for medicine, but for, not for cosmetics. But I very naively thought that, um, yeah, animal testing was the exception and not the rule definitely wrong um so i am attempting to gradually transition i did think about throwing away all of my non cruelty free stuff but it would just be a financial disaster trying to replace everything and i am trying to be less materialistic so i'm just using what i have and when that gets thrown away i will hopefully replace it with things that are definitely cruelty free my definition of cruelty free is that the ingredients and the finished products but every stage of the product cannot be tested on an animal um, they can't pay another company to do the testing for them if a company sells in china i'm not interested because imported beauty brands into china have to be tested on animals by law so that's a no um, and also if their partner no sorry not partner if their parent company is um, a company that tests on animals, so think NARS. NARS is owned by, I believe, Shiseido, but I'm not sure. Um, but certainly their partner company tests on animals. That means I can't use NARS because at the end of the day, if I'm going to be doing the effort of going cruelty free and then the same people are getting profit out of it, it just feels totally pointless to me. Um, so yeah, I've still got a lot of things to work out on that front, but I think it'll be interesting. I feel really good about having made that decision and it's just going to be a question of logistics, um, getting it sorted. So I'm quite excited about that. Oh, the third thing, which I haven't mentioned, but has been kind of referenced in my social media, if you follow any of that. Um, I now live at home. I moved out of uni. Um, I was very sad to leave Southampton. If you saw my June notes vlogs, you will have seen ample evidence of how sad I was. But I'm actually quite surprised by how much I'm enjoying being home. I have a few assignments that I'm still working on at the time of filming. Hopefully they will be done by the time this goes live. Um, but anyway, my deadline for that will be about the 15th of August, um, I think. So I have them to work on for now. I'm still working part-time for a website and just kind of weighing up my options for other things to do. I'm hoping to find some more permanent stuff afterwards. Um, I love the idea of working for myself, but if I'm gonna go traveling, it's probably not going to pay well enough. I don't know, I think I need to sort of see what I can do um, on that front. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm back at home. Um, I'm actually sat next to my bed rather than on it. That was a sheep. I don't know if the camera picked that up. Dead in the middle of the countryside. Um, I'm really liking it so far. So I think number four 
on my little list is that I am really really trying to be less materialistic and a lot more careful about what I buy. I say that and I've now become obsessed with magazines, I don't know if you can see but there are some behind me. Um, but I've been thinking a lot about things that make me happy and realising that um, essentially material things are just stuff and especially having been someone that's moved around a lot over the last four years you kind of realise how little you can live with and still be totally happy and fine. Um, so I'm really making an effort. I'm also really really trying to avoid buying from um, certain companies um, so P&G again because they test on animals, P&G own Max Factor, they own I think Shaw, um, Pantene, lots of brands, ideally Unilever again they own pretty much everyone else, Johnson & Johnson, those big brands but also I watched an amazing film called The True Cost which I will link down for you below. I ended up buying it because I loved it so much but um, it was an amazing documentary about the fast fashion industry and kind of looking at fashion in general um, and it was hard hitting stuff. It basically broke down how awful the fast fashion industry in particular is for our environment and made me realise that I just want to make a lot of life changes um, and certainly it's going to get a lot easier I think when I live in my own place but definitely at the moment I'm trying to crack down on buying crap that's going to end up in a rubbish bin. I don't want to buy from brands like Zara and H&M because having seen the kind of work conditions um, that their workers have to live in I just think it's catastrophic and I think the only way that I can say anything or have any impact is by never buying from those companies again um, if at all possible. So that is again another thing that I'm slowly trying to transition towards. My plan is to buy from secondhand places, charity shops and also brands that have a very very clear and ethical um, stance. So if they say on their website um, that they're made in the EU or that it's fair trade, things along those lines, then I'm happy to buy from them. If there's nothing in their website or nothing in their email conversations that suggest that then I just don't feel comfortable buying from companies like that. Um, so again that's going to be really tough but I think worthwhile. I think having made the decision I already feel a lot happier and more responsible I guess um, having made that decision. So I will let you know how all of that goes. I'm very very curious. Um, so that is thing number four maybe, or five, I'm not gonna lie I've definitely got lost, we're gonna drop the list numbers because I'm very confused. And I think those are all of my big pieces of news, um, I will be blogging and I will hopefully be YouTubing, things are gonna have an emphasis on things that make me happy, creativity, so there'll be more vlogs or my simple pleasures videos will hopefully be coming back and a bit less on buying and hauls and other things like that. I'm now posting every Wednesday and every Saturday on my blog and then there'll be the odd Monday video on my YouTube channel so those are the days when you'll be able to hear from me so hopefully you can still stick with me. Um, I think it's going to be an interesting journey that is for sure um, and thank you for your support. Um, it's been really really nice to come back and still have people that watch my videos and follow my blog um so yeah that means a lot and i'm gonna stop there thank you for your time everyone i hope you're all doing really really well and i can't wait to have another catch up soon